Hello everybody, Commander Davis here again. Uh, we're going to do the uh, Reaver build today. Um, sorry it's coming out late. I've uh, just been busy a lot with uh, life, work, uh, playing some other games on computer. Just a bunch of different stuff, but I do apologize about that. Oh, my controller batteries are low. Well, let's have some fun with that. Why not? Alright. So, with the Reaver, it's really an uh, easy build. Um, I did respect this so I can kind of see on the bottom right there I had abilities in before. Um, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop over. Uh, depends on what level you get to after level 1. I was trying to get to 12, but I didn't have enough support XP, so I got to 11 instead. So, first thing you're going to want to get is going to be combat roll. That will allow you to uh, get back up if you get knocked down. It's stunned. Uh, it's, uh, you can now use combat roll to recover from most disabling conditions. So anything you get knocked down by frozen. Well, I don't think about frozen. I think frozen, you uh, still are not able to get up with that. And then after that, just go straight down on the left tree. And get rampage. And dragon ring. Make sure those are all equipped. And for the gear for her, sorry, I almost just said him, for her, um, I don't have my hack on because I, <laughs> I scrapped it so I could get a better one and I spent probably about 1.5 mil already and I didn't get it back yet. So, um, really any sword. Um, I'm running the Skywatcher's Cleaver, which as you can see right here has 27% heal on kill. Stock, I didn't put anything on that. That's as much as it comes with. Um, Maul of the Dragon is a good one. Great sword. It's alright. Um, but it really is whatever your best weapon is. Stonebreaker is a good one, but it doesn't have any heal on kill. However, with the way that you play the Reaver, you don't need heal on kill. And for that, actually, I will play the Stonebreaker. That way I can show you you don't need heal on kill. Let me go ahead and put a rune on that. And a whip it. Put a fire rune on. And then, uh, really, the accessories. I run uh, double crit damage as level 1. Then I put Dragon Rage Ring on because it uh, it does 30% damage. Actually, you know what? Let's test this. Because it, it worked with the uh, Necromancer where it was more than 30%. Uh, let's look. So we're at 150. Not upgrades. Abilities. See, it did 50% there. So, be careful when using your ability rings, or not be careful, but pay more attention because they might um, uh, do more than what they say. Alright, uh, we got that. Oh, belts. Uh, I I only use the staggering belt, um, but you can use the urgency belt if you're going to be doing, like, actually, you know, I'll run that so I can show you guys what I mean. Um, if you're running a red bar build with her, basically you get almost to death, then you just kill a bunch of people really fast because you have the attack speed and the more damage because of... This ability right here. Uh, where is it? Right here. Blood Frenzy for each uh, five percent or five percent extra damage for each ten percent of health missing. So if you're down in the red, say hypothetically like ninety percent missing, that's a lot of damage bonus you're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and get right on in there. Let me know uh, what down in the comments what uh, um, character you guys want next because I'm not sure which one I was going to do. I was going to do them from left to right, but 
I think I'll do it more in uh, popularity, like what ones you guys need help with or whatnot. So just let me know down in the uh, comments or send me a message on Xbox, either or. There are reports of strange events in the countryside. Our agents offer assistance. I would prefer a peaceful solution, but will not hold my breath. An aging chateau in the wilds is their destination. Alright, who would we get? Like nothing I've ever seen. Good hurry. So with the red bar build, I'll show you in a second. Once I get down that low. If you were to get knocked down there, I don't because I got my amulet of physical immunity. But right here, say I got knocked down, you just combat roll to get back up and then go. I know I can't really show you that. Every, I mean, I could put my stamina amulet on, but my luck, I forget to put my PI back on, and then I go ahead and pop into the nightmare and get my ass handed to me. Uh, same thing with the shield guys here. If they were charging at you, you could just see combat roll out of it. And it's really short cooldown. You really don't have to worry about that. I right, see how my health got low to uh, underneath 50% and now I'm attacking really fast. That's basically what the red bar build is. The red bar. Um, I don't particularly like this because especially with you guys. See, I'm about to kill myself. It's gonna... The power still underneath it. So, I mean, that's the way you guys can play if you guys want to do damage. Like I said, it's very risky because at your guys' level, it, one or two shots might kill you. Another trick with the Reaver, just like there, um, as they're dying, you can still devour them and get the health out of them. Right here, he combat roll. Come on, I want to show you another trick to the if I can find another shield guy. Thing that does suck about running the urgency belt, uh, belt build as I call it or whatever, red bar, is the fact that if you're playing in a public lobby, people are going to grab the health font because you're so low, even though you message them, tell them, hey, I'm doing this for this reason, and they'll still just grab it just because. So I would really only run this if you're playing solo or with friends that uh, understand what you're doing. The estates of some key noble allies were raided. Several priceless heirlooms were lost. Thankfully, we have located the missing treasure. Right, oh, right. The quicker we find everything, the quicker we get out of here. Right, shield guy, perfect. So with the shield guy, you can just spam or devour, see? And it won't use the ability, but it'll still damage him. Tidbit information there. These wounds may need to see if, I, if you would have got knocked down, just come and roll out of it. And it's really short. Cooldown. You can either run combat roll or mighty blow. I would recommend combat roll. Um, for the fact that you can get right back up. 
you're more survivable that way, but then again, you're also more survivable if you run uh, Mighty Blow to deal with the shields, too. So, I mean, it's your personal preference. I'm just giving you my recommendation. Both of those are... See, right there, boom, killed them. Both builds are viable. Um, really depends on the playstyle you like. I personally run the Mighty Blow, but that's because I don't need the combat roll. Combat through them. I see one over there. I see you, assassin. Combat rolled, but I just hit my dragon rage. Strength is failing. too bad. Hopefully long enough for me to get through this video. Alright, we gotta nug this round because there's a large creature or the bear on round one. Where are you gonna spawn? There you be. over here. Another uh, thing you can do with combat roll is the Venatory Spellbinder's Mines they put down, you can roll over that without taking damage. If you do it right as soon as you're about to take damage. Page, which I haven't activated yet because I'll show you why in a second. Or when I get to the boss. It's usually when you get to the boss when you want to activate it, or if you're about to die. So what it does is it increases your attack speed and it heals you as well. And I believe it increases your damage. I can I should have shown you that uh, going through the guy that you I don't really first first couple times and it's like what my second yeah guy video or something like that. So I did the Necromancer first. Um, I kind of messed that one up. I might do an updated version of that later. But... Got one more pot over there. He's a dead. messenger from a cont loyal to our cause is under attack and requires immediate aid. Oh, that sucks right. I hope I haven't been too presumptuous by dispatching the situation. 
Finally! It's about time. What took you so long? I nearly died. Do you even know what I can? Sometimes there's a pod or two around here. Yeah, yeah. Look see? at this. Oh, maker, they're attacking me. Well, that's not the message. Not much I can do about that. The main reason I put the Dragon Rage on the right bumper for me is I can hold down the right bumper and turn my controller with my right, uh, with the right analog stick with my thumb. That way I can switch from target to target instead of it being like an axe or something that you have to claw and grip it and it's just easier for me this way. used to using combat roll anymore but yeah when you get knocked out just go ahead and pop it oh, oh boy here we go one second we're right back There we go. Sorry about that. Was not expecting uh, it to be that soon. Uh, fuck it all. Uh, you know what? I'll be fine. I think it's a fifth wave, anyways. I have my limits. You don't have your limits. You self heal. Another way to move fast is just jump sprint. Right, so here's a good way to use uh rampage. If you dare. So you get knocked down here, combat roll, rampage. That rampage, as long as you're uh, attacking some targets, will always keep you full health. I believe there's a room over here you can go to. Let me look. Oh, yes, yeah, back right corner. I do apologize about the graphics, like I said in my Necromancer guide, I am uh, streaming this to my computer and then recording it that way. I uh, don't have a capture card, which I will be investing in one in probably a few months here, hopefully, 
to make sure you guys get better, better graphics of any Xbox games I uh, stream. Or stream or, uh, what you call should it? Be running scared. Uh, record, sorry. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> Ultimate use like I just did there to get back inside or around the corner out of danger. Especially when you have the urgency belt, you roll farther and you're doing it faster. Normally I let them come to me, but for the sake of this video, I will just come on here and kill them. The Comte is All well right. pleased. His I'll show you safe. the rest of the points uh, sure from everyone with a titan. Here's the 11 and above, uh, where they should go. My personal opinion, and that would really help you guys. Nope, so close. Alright, so after that, definitely get this one. Fever, I think that's how you pronounce it. When an enemy dies near you, the thrill of death spurs you to hit harder. Um, and that just means anybody, so your teammates can kill them. Uh, so, you're in a party of four. You all are continuously getting kills. You're gonna have a 30% more damage forever, basically. As long as... Uh, you guys are getting the kills, so obviously you're not going to have it in between rounds, so at the start of the next round, you're not going to have it. Um, definitely uh, bounce back over to the right side and start working towards Bear Balls of Wolves, which will make you immune from getting backstabbed. Using techniques per perfected by Aurelian Chevrolet, I know I pronounced that wrong, you can't be flanked by enemies and you're less likely to be staggered when hit from the front. After that, so, okay, so we got, what level are we, 13? So we got 13. Oh, might have to go to abilities. Almost at 14, all right. We got 13. Um, I would highly recommend getting uh, Flow of Battle as well. Um, so that'd be 13, 14, 15. Um, that is if your critical chance is up, but I believe, where is it? Yeah, uh, if you have a low crit chance, I'd recommend upgrading the uh, Devour. Uh, after you Devour, your the next use of Dragon Rage has a better chance of ripping deeply into your target for a critical strike. Um, no, that's Weaken, that's Strength. There's some other ones over here that uh, help you with uh, crit chance. Only 2%. But uh, if you have a decent amount of crit chance, this comes in handy because you'll be able to activate Rampage. And by the time you're done Dragon Raging, you can activate Rampage again. Um, so that's uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So about 18 is usually uh, where you can get Bear Mauls of Wolves. Unless you go straight for it right away and don't bother with uh, the left tree, which I would not recommend, to be honest with you, because you want your main abilities... Your Dragon Rage and your Rampage. Those are your main two abilities outside of combat roll, which will help you get back up. Um, 
I wouldn't bother with any of the normal abilities. She's a reaver. She's not meant to do sword and shield abilities. She's meant to use her dragon claws. Um, but yeah. I hope that helps you guys. Um, let me know down below if you liked it. Uh, what character you want next as well. That will definitely uh, help. Um, what else? Come on, download data. Uh, nothing good, alright. Um, so, let's see. Um, I could do... Avar next, probably, but I'll let you guys, uh, choose down below, just, I, uh, let me know what, uh, um, I can't talk, sorry, I just got home from work about 40 minutes ago, so I'm kinda still winding down from work, um, let me know what, uh, character you guys want down below, uh, have a good night.